Hey guys, so welcome to my home theater walk around. I'll show you what uh, I've been uh, working on and uh, how it looks. Okay, so let's talk about the wiring. So for the front wall right here where the projector screen go, I was able to get all the wire run straight down from there. Um, that was no problem. Um, and then I was able to run uh, HDMI, Ethernet cable, and coaxial cable through this wall all the way up over on top of the ceiling. Um, and then, you know, same thing with the recess light, was able to put that in. Um, got a HDMI and all the Ethernet um, cable uh, to go there. Uh, same thing for the power for the projector. Um, I only ran into an issue when I to the back wall because the back wall right here is actually the outer wall of the house and when I get to the corners on the top the um, attics up there the spacing was only a few inches. Um, I could not crawl all the way in to um, drill the hole from the top down to get the um, the rear surround sound um, speaker wires that goes in for this surround sound. Um, so what I end up doing is that the crown modem you see up there is uh, sitting diagonally you know against the corner so there's that much of a gap uh, behind it. So what I end up doing was ran all of the speaker wire and my uh, poster wire um, inside this all the way around inside the crown modem uh, when it gets you right here um, against the corner up there just simply drill a hole through the drywall and ran it uh, at the corner straight down uh, I had to do a little bit of fishing for the line but that was easier than trying to crawl inside that you know tiny space um, so I was able to get all of the wire going around everything is hidden inside the wall um, okay so let's talk about the room size the room size is 11 by 16 um, I wish it was a little bit uh, longer um, but I uh, just have to work with uh, what you have um, and uh, to start out is the uh, projector this is a Epson um, 3020 home cinema uh, projector um, this actually is a, a 1080p uh, HD with 3D capabilities. Start out, um, this is just uh, something I had uh, a while ago. It's just a Bose uh, Fuyo One bookshelf speaker. Um, I actually love that speaker. It worked really good for me. Um, I kind of like old speaker versus the new one. Uh, the, well, the smaller Bose one now that they have. Um, and then the center speaker, um, this one, it's, I got a heck of a deal uh, finding it online. Got it from this guy. It's a center speaker. It's a Clips 525THX certified speakers. So this one, it's a 525 centers. And then as you can see, um, this is the size surround sound. Uh, and it's the same thing. It's a Clips 525 surround sound. And for the back one, I just happen to have my uh, Sony rear surround sound. Um, eventually, I'll replace it with something better, but uh, that will have to do for now. And for the re recliner seat, uh, same situation. Uh, currently, can only afford the uh, front row and then the back couch is uh, old stuff. But these are the uh, recliner seat that I got from American Furnitures. Um, and they actually recline all the way back. Uh, their power recline. Okay, here's the backlit poster, movie poster that I made. Um, I'm gonna quickly turn off the lights so you can see how they look. So they light up pretty good. Uh, currently, you got uh, Godzilla and uh, Iron Man three. Um, they're both uh, was it double-sided poster so they they actually show up pretty good so you can buy the whole snap frame from Amazon uh, which come with the um, the plastic cover um, also a, uh, 
a white diffuser on the back so when you put your LED you won't be able to actually see the LED strips uh, you just see a bright white light so it actually well that blocked it quite a bit of the light so I had to add quite a bit of uh, extra light in there to get the um, uh, you know a decent amount of light coming through but it's good to have the diffuser so you might be wondering if I could turn off my movie poster or not while I was watching the movie the answer is yes uh, using this tiny remote so I bought an LED controller which goes uh, I put it you know connect the um, the poster movie in, and then I could turn it on and off uh, you can also turn on, you know, different brightness setting too. I can lower, I guess, lower the light, um, or make it 100%. Um, same thing with the um, the railing right here. I can turn that on and off, or I can make it different brightness. Lower it down all the way until like you could barely see it. Only thing is I haven't figured out how to put this into my uh, tablet because this is using radio frequency, not infrared. Okay, as for the player, I'm using, uh, as you can see, a PlayStation 3. And this is actually about six years old and I love it. It's probably uh, the best $400 I ever spent. Um, up until now, six year, it's still um, do what I needed to do so it stream all your stuff like Netflix and YouTube's and all that you play game with it um, I don't play that much of video game um, but um, uh, It turned out this actually play 3d movie as well So I didn't have to you know spend another three hundred dollars get a, a blu-ray 3d player to go with my uh, projector um, the only drawback using a PlayStation 3 um, as I have found now is that it lacks the IR now, it doesn't have infrared for the remote control um, I had the uh, PlayStation uh, Bluetooth remote but uh, uh, my whole intention was to have a all-in-one remote system to control all of my components um, so I ran into a lot of trouble trying to figure out uh, a, a work around uh, the problem so currently I have an IR repeater um, mount in the back which uh, I'll show you a video of that uh, that goes all all the components to the back but the, here's the um, the eye right here for that repeaters um, sitting under the PlayStation um, that let me control my uh, Denon receiver in the back um, so for the PlayStation workaround currently nobody offer an app or a universal remote app that can communicate with the PlayStation directly via Bluetooth. Um, so the only option would be getting a, um, a USB IR to Bluetooth conversion. You plug it into the front USB right here and then you can control it with infrared. Um, the only problem with that is you can't turn the PlayStation on and off. Um, and then you miss you know, a few other uh, function so what I had to do was I bought a, uh, I think it's called a Nikko um, adapter and then it have an infrared in the front and you can control it using an infrared um, remote control. Um, so the way how I have it set up now is to turn the PlayStation on is by enable the HMI um, CEC control on my Denon receiver and on my projector. So whenever I turn on my projector it will turn on the PlayStation um, automatically uh, on and off the same thing so here I'll show you how um, it's being controlled so I bought a Samsung tablet 4 which have a built-in um, IR uh, or built-in infrared um, so you can use it for a universal remote um, so I ended up going online and I found this uh, smart remote app. Uh, it's probably one of the best one I found. You can get the free one, but it doesn't have as much features. So I went up 
went ahead and spent the six dollars and get the full version one on here you can customize uh, a remote uh, you can customize um, your your own remote so like uh, this I want to have uh, the movie room remote um, all everything all the buttons right here are uh, customized uh, I have a movie buttons um, a TV buttons so that it will um, when I click on movie it will change all of my um, inputs on my uh, den and receiver and everything to movie turn the surround sound to movie and all that stuff So I forgot to turn the 2D to 3D conversion on, so I'm going to turn it on right now. And then they have different settings, as you can see right here, you have weak, uh, medium, or strong. Um, so we'll just put this one on medium. So here it is, you can see the image is blur now. Um, so this one requires the glasses, uh, and the glasses are RF. Uh, they're about uh, $89 from Epson. Uh, the projector came with two, uh, but you can buy an uh, extra one. Uh, and I end up buying the Samsung uh, 3D glasses, the RF one, and they actually work. So here is the back room. Um, this is pretty much a corner at the back room. Um, that sit right behind the PlayStation up front uh, just a little shelf uh, basically I only have my uh, uh, Denon receiver um, I believe it's an AVR uh, 1200 watts um, receiver and all of the um, electricals down here and my all of my other components like my uh, Iris security and Vonage phone um, and all of that and I have so here's what I was talking about. Here's the uh, IR repeater, little IR repeater um, that have the eye go up in the front, and then the uh, repeater uh, just stick it right in front of the uh, receiver. Um, so on top right here, I got my phone, home phone, um, and uh, cable modem, and then the wireless router. Um, so everything just kind of sits right here, all of my electronics and components and all that. Um, and it happened to sit right behind the uh, PlayStation and the movie room up front. 